Hi everyone. Today we're going to talk about tomatoes, our favorite thing to grow in an aquaponic system, in any system. I'm going to tell you a little bit about the different types of tomatoes out there and how to handle them. There are determinate and indeterminate tomato plants. Determinate tomato plants are called that because they only grow to a predetermined size. Indeterminate are the ones that we all think of that are these really huge long vines that can get up to 20, 30 feet. And indeterminates are, are what you want to know how to grow because that's where most of your really yummy heirlooms come out of indeterminate tomatoes. So, I'm going to show you how to handle an indeterminate tomato plant and, and wrestle this puppy to the ground. So what you need to know is that the only part of an indeterminate tomato plant that is productive is about the last four, uh, three to four feet here. Everything that goes below here isn't doing anything for the plant at all. And you want to make sure that you keep it cut off. Now, you'll come in on here, see how ratty that's looking? Well, this particular um, branch isn't doing anything for this plant at all and should just be removed and gotten rid of. The other thing that you need to know about indeterminate plants is, see in here where we've got this growth that's coming out between branches? That's called a sucker, and you want to keep that removed. There's another one there. So just keep taking that off because all that's going to do is give you a whole bunch of foliage that's not going to be productive at all. So I'm also going to show you how to keep a, an indeterminate tomato plant uh, vertical so that it can get the most amount of light. I really love this system. This is called a plant clip. And what this does is it just very easily clips a round of a vine like that and in the, um, the bend here you, is where you can put your string and it'll just stay right there so that when you actually clip it in, stays super secure. So you get your plant clip around and all these tomato plants had plant clips uh, put on early on when they were just young plants. And once that's on, then you wind the string around the tomato plant and hook it up above. So I've got my plants on a, uh, a string that's running across the roof of the greenhouse. Now you'll see this plant here is getting a little bit too high. It's up already, already to the string. Um, so what I need to do is I need to lower it. Ooh, found a nice big sucker right there. Can't let that go. So to lower this, what we're going to do is unhook it from the, uh, the piece that keeps it stable, wrap it around a little bit more, and then you just re-hook it at the top. So what happens is eventually you're going to end up having a whole vine of the tomato plant that doesn't have any foliage on it, it's just really acting as a rope. But your plant is always um, in a place where you can tend it, and the only thing that you've got on this plant are your tomatoes and your productive greens. Um, so the last thing that you need to know about growing tomato plants in a greenhouse is that in order to pollinate these plants, they just need to be agitated. And so when you come in in the morning, just go through and just kind of give a little love tap to your tomatoes and disperse all that pollen. So that and a good, healthy running aquaponic system and uh, you're going to have lots of delicious heirloom tomatoes.